China is set to unveil massive autonomous underwater drones unlike anything seen before. At Beijing's parade, these 20-meter submersibles will debut, marking a breakthrough in undersea technology. In this video, we'll reveal their design and why they could reshape the future of the oceans. When rehearsal images from Beijing surfaced in August, observers noticed something unusual. Enormous torpedo-like vehicles mounted on transporters. One stood out immediately carrying the designation AJX-002, confirming that China is now ready to publicly showcase its extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles, or XLUVs. The AJX-002 is no small craft. It measures approximately 18 to 20 meters long and 1 to 1 and a half meters in diameter, making it one of the largest underwater drones ever displayed. Its streamlined design relies on pump jet propulsion, chosen for quiet and efficient movement through the sea. Four lifting lugs along its body make it clear this craft is deployed by crane, while two additional lugs near the center hint that it can be separated into sections for easier land transport. Alongside AJX-002, analysts notice something even more intriguing, a second, larger design, mostly hidden under tarps. Although roughly the same length, this one appears twice the diameter allowing for far greater internal capacity. Unlike AJX-002, it uses X-form rudders, a design often associated with improved control and stability at varying depths. At least six underwater drones were seen in parade rehearsals, four AJX-002S and two of the larger models. This detail is key. It shows China isn't simply experimenting with prototypes but is moving toward fleet-scale deployment. Considering that China already operates the world's largest XLUV testing program, with trials at bases in Sanya, Yulin, and Dalian, this public reveal confirms progress beyond testing. The AJX-002 immediately drew comparisons to Russia's well-known Poseidon project, a giant underwater drone designed for extremely long-range missions. Both share a torpedo-like profile, large size, and pump jet propulsion. But while the resemblance is striking, the details suggest China may be pursuing a different path. The key question is how these vehicles are powered. Diesel-electric systems typically require ventilation masts, yet no such feature was seen on AJX-002. If battery-powered alone, endurance would be limited, making its massive scale harder to explain. This puzzle has led to speculation about more advanced propulsion. Reports have hinted at an ambitious idea, a disposable nuclear reactor. In theory, this system could keep the drone moving at 30 knots for up to 200 hours, after which the reactor would detach and sink to the seabed, leaving the vehicle to continue on battery power. This would be a very different approach compared to manned nuclear submarines prioritizing extended missions without permanent onboard nuclear systems. Still, Chinese experts urge caution. Nuclear scientist Guo Jian, writing in the Journal of Unmanned Underwater Systems, stressed that China's project shows substantial differences from Poseidon. Instead of replicating a single-purpose concept, AJX-002 is more likely designed for flexible roles, ranging from reconnaissance to long-duration surveillance and ocean mapping. Whether nuclear-powered or not, the propulsion debate highlights the ambition behind these drones. Even without reactors, their scale and design point to long-range autonomous operations, something very few navies have achieved. The unanswered question about propulsion is less about what AJX-002 is today and more about what it signals for the future. The introduction of these massive drones is more than an engineering milestone. It marks a change in how undersea technology might shape the future. For decades, undersea operations relied on manned submarines, anti-submarine vessels, and fixed seabed sensors. With XLUVs like AJX-002, the framework shifts toward autonomous endurance and flexibility. One major implication lies in seabed infrastructure. Today, much of the world's ocean monitoring depends on underwater sensor arrays. Large drones could probe, map, or even test the resilience of these systems, potentially revealing blind spots. With the ability to operate quietly for weeks, these drones challenge the assumption that undersea networks are untouchable. Just as important is their multi-mission capacity. AJX-002's size allows it to carry advanced sonar, electronic sensors or even modules for placing monitoring devices across remote stretches of ocean. Unlike manned submarines, these drones aren't limited by human endurance making them ideal for extended deployments. Scale matters too. With six drones already confirmed in rehearsals, 
4 AJX002S and two larger models. China is demonstrating this isn't a single experimental craft. In contrast, other navies such as the United States are still in the prototype phase with programs like the Orca XLU-5. China's readiness to reveal multiple variants signals faster progress than most expected. Even without nuclear propulsion, these vehicles represent a major leap forward in undersea endurance and adaptability. If future variants integrate more advanced energy systems, their reach could cover entire ocean basins. Ultimately, AJX-002 and its larger siblings show that autonomous undersea systems are no longer future projects, they're reality today. They highlight how quickly technology is advancing, reminding us that future control of the oceans may rest not only with ships on the surface but with the silent machines below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations of cutting-edge discoveries. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.